Tambuk oranges has been on the Stop. plate, on the plate of even our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Tambuk kalapani ke jaanu se jaanu. Um, aisa ek time tha jisme when if you have to get into Tambuk, it's either by chopper or by elephant bag. Flip side, this is the second time they are coming to Tambuk. Even for them, even till today, they said it's still an adventure. Uh, three for one rupee. Look at the price that the farmers are getting today. Like 13 rupees, 11 rupees a per orange. Arunachal is a festival uh, state. There is a music festival, there is a cultural festival bhi every month. We can say that it is happening. So today we are with the State Tourism Director Shri Abu Taing Ji. Abu Taing Ji, we are in Dambuk. Dambuk is an orange festival of music and adventure. So many times, in people, there are things that जो फेस्टिवल है इससे टूरिज्म डिपार्टमेंट को क्या फायदा होता है क्योंकि स्टेट कहना है कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट जो है इतना फंडिंग दे रहा है तो ये फंडिंग स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को वापस आता है कि नहीं देखिए जो फेस्टिवल्स है द आइडिया इज नॉट अ रेवेन्यू अर्निंग मॉडल व्हिच द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इज एडॉप्टिंग जो जो मॉडल एडप कर रहा है वो प्रमोशन का है जैसे हम अगर टीवी में एडवर्टाइजमेंट देता है आप कहीं चैनल में अगर हम एडवर्टाइजमेंट दें उससे हम गवर्नमेंट को थोड़ी ना पैसा वापस आता है इट्स नॉट अ रेवेन्यू मॉडल इट्स फॉर मेंट फॉर प्रमोशन तो जो हमारा आईबॉल्स आ रहा है जो हमारा व्यूज आ रहा है सोशल मीडिया पे दैट इज माय रिटर्न दैट इज द गवर्नमेंट्स रिटर्न सो बेसिकली वही कॉन्सेप्ट है कि इट नॉट अ रेवेन्यू अर्निंग मॉडल एंड जिस तरह से लोग कहते हैं कि कि बहुत सारे लोग लोगों का होता है कि दे आर ट्रॉलिंग दस जहाँ पे यहाँ पे जो कैलेंडर फेस्टिवल होता है जैसे कि अभी रिसेंटली जीरो फेस्टिवल हुआ जिसने लोगों ने कहा कि द एंट्री फी ऑज वेरी हाई अभी ऑरेंज फेस्टिवल को भी लेके कह कह रहे हैं कि एंट्री फी इज़ हाई तो इट्स ए प्राइवेट इवेंट और इट्स अ गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर इवेंट देर आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक आई विल साइड द एग्जाम्पल एक चीज़ हम बोलेंगे जैसे हॉर्न बिल Hornbill Festival is a 100% government sponsored event. Mm -hmm. It has a budget of all, more than 5 crores. Mm -hmm. So there, government can decide that it should be entry free. Mm -hmm. But uh, you took the name of apne ZFM ka naam liya, Orange ka baat kar rahe. Ye hai government sponsored event. Mm -hmm. Government just sponsors a certain amount for promotions. Mm -hmm. It's not fully funded by the government. तो एक ऑर्गेनाइजर्स जो है उनके ऊपर एक फ्रीडम छोड़ा गया है कि हम आपको इतना ही रुपया देंगे आप इसमें जिस लेवल का आप करना चाहोगे कीजिए एंड इफ़ यू लुक एट जेड एफ एम और इवन इफ़ यू लुक एट ऑरेंज आप देखेंगे दैट एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन दैट फेस्टिवल इज आई वुड से रफली अबाउट फोर टू फाइव टाइम्स देन वाट द गवर्नमेंट इज स्पॉन्सरिंग सो 
organizers will have to find a way of um, uh, getting revenue so that ultimately these festivals become uh, self-sustaining. It's, it's, it's a very simple arithmetic for the government that ZFM is a famous festival. There are 30,000 views in unka 30,000 views in their social media. In Orange, there are 37,000. You can see. So, us amount, us eyeballs ke liye hi, this amount is, I would say, it's a very meager amount. Starting and uh, I will just continue. Mm -hmm. uh, even ZFM Bolo, uh, Orange Bolo, I'll just take these two festivals because you named it. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the coverage that they have garnered for the state, mm -hmm. you will find that even if you pay this kind of money to any new media house, mm -hmm. Utna coverage nahi dega koi bhi media house. Itna sa chota sa amount ke liye. Example, our isbar calendar events hai. Mm -hmm. Because there was a budget cut in the department. We are only funding from the department side. We are only funding 25 lakhs. So if you look at the festival of zero ZFM's magnitude or Orange's magnitude, I think 25 lakhs, I would say, would pay roughly just the airfare for one of the bands. So, it's for people to decide, I mean, whether government money is being wasted or not. But I think, uh, as the director of the department, I feel that because we are getting a lot of mileage out of this festival, it is worth spending on these festivals. Orange Festival is the 7th edition. And to make a festival, what are the people who are living in the area, who are living in the area, I'll give you the example of Bascon. Ab Bascon mein dekhiye, har individual involved ho jate. There's a group. There's a group of people who voluntarily donate money. They donate as, uh, infrastructure. They donate simple things like bamboo free mein deta hai, labor free mein deta hai. That makes it successful. But uh, I've, I've seen even ZFM, there I know the organizers are facing problems because everything they have to buy. Like I've organized Orange even before I was director of tourism and brought it up to this level. I know that how much I'm spending. Everything we have to buy except one or two people who definitely contribute by means of say bamboo, labors, socially. But for any event to be successful, Number one, it has to be longevity. There has to be longevity. You just cannot make an event successful by ek do saal apne kia. It's a success nahi. Like Glastonbury in the UK, it's like 50 years old. 50 years old. The state ke jitne bhi festivals hai, wo aur acha kar sakte hain. Like apne jis tarah ka apne Hornbill festival ka example liya, wo to like it's been like 10, 15. 20 years, yeah, 20 years, more than 20 years. <laughs> the concept is very good because Arunachal that way doesn't have a festival like that. All festivals are very area centric. Just say, you Tawang festival, boliye, wo usi area ka hota hai. Ab Orange boliye, ye ho gaya. Pansau Pass, ab you name it, ZFM ho gaya zero. So Arunachal as a state has 26 major tribes, hundreds of sub tribes each distinct culture everything so actually we could be the land of festivals actually not Nagaland uh, Nagaland looks so nega to thara khara bhi paega hoga but ya Arunachal mein hota tha pehle Arunachal festival of Arunachal bolke but that has been discontinued for reasons uh, I don't I have no absolutely no idea and then before uh, recently uh, there, was, there was a news that he was uh, Tourism department ने बहुत सारा fund जो है वो mis manage mis use किया regarding जितने भी tourist lodge बनाए गए थे। अगर if we are taking the example of Lower Dibang Valley, Miss Mak Nagar जो हो गया वहाँ पे एक जो tourist lodge बनाया है, इसमें करोड़ invest किया गया है, लेकिन tourist lodge जो है वो जिप्ली condition पे है। अगर हम ऊपर जाएं Bayutia के तरफ वहाँ पे भी ऐसा ही condition है। तो इटानगर में भी कुछ कुछ ऐसा tourist lodge बनाए गए हैं जिसमें जो कुछ use ही नहीं हो रहा है। तो आप भी मानते हैं कि जो tourism department जो पहले उन्होंने जो जिस तरह से उन्होंने हर चीज जो plan किया है वो कहीं न कहीं उसमें loopholes थे जिसमें state का बहुत सारा पैसा जो है पानी का तरह बहा पहा है tourism department 
देखिए मैं प्रीवियस ऑफिसर्स या प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट ने क्या किया उस पर तो हम आई एम नॉट द अथॉरिटी टू कॉमेंट ऑन डैट बट वाट वी वुड हम हम क्या चाहते हैं कि टूरिज्म प्रोजेक्ट के नॉट बी रन ऑन सोशल सर्विस मॉडल टूरिज्म प्रोजेक्ट शुड बी ऑलवेज हैव द इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन वाइल कंसिडरिंग एनी टूरिज्म प्रोजेक्ट उसका इकोनॉमिक वायबिलिटी को आपने दो एग्जाम्पल्स लिया यहाँ बिस्मक नगर एंड गुड बिस्मक नगर एज द रूइंस ऑफ द ओल्ड बिस्मक किंगडम एंड ऑल एंड probably that's why the project was selected but then most of the projects uh, which were selected uh, i would say a lot of them actually were wrong selection of site number 1 number 2 the model itself was uh, wrong because it was uh, construction driven um hum banate hain aap lease pe lete ho par uska quality of the asset is not there so that you cannot actually run it really well so there in the project fail so the basic my idea of how will how it will make it work is if you are an entrepreneur you are interested in the tourism sector state i as a state government should actually adopt a um, subsidy based model ppp model and revenue sharing model i fund you on a subsidy model and we share revenue you construct the asset when you are investing your own money you will make sure that you are not fizul ka kharcha nahi kar rahe hain aap ekdam justified kharcha kar rahe hain and aap jaise chahte hain usi hisab se aap building banwayenge ye nahi ki watch tower bana diya ye bana diya wo bana diya jo zarurat hi nahi tha quality assets banayenge abhi jitne bhi structures banaye gaye the jo abhi jiska condition kafi kharab hai to department ka agla step kya hai un building ko lekar jitne bhi nahi dekhiye da da earlier model itself was like this that you we construct an asset we lease it out to jo maintenance hai annual maintenance hai wo lease ka upar aata hai the department will not um uh, invest in maintenance of that asset to isiliye uh, recent times the decision of the state government was that we not not lease it out for 3 years or 5 years we we'll lease it out for 30 years this is the model that is adopted all over the country any private investor will look for an leasing model which will be up for 30 years so that wo apna paisa bhi lagaye tab bhi usko kam se kam return aaye ha because if you keep going thinking you like if you start constructing tourist lodges like pwd ibs it's not going to be successful if you are constructing a tourist lodge it has to be taken consider economic parameters the main so recently this year jo tirap chakla gomri में भी जो है डिपार्टमेंट ने बनाया है तो आपको लगता है कि वहाँ से एक पॉजिटिव फीडबैक मिलेगा बिकॉज एवरी वन नोज की कहीं ना कहीं अभी भी एरिया है एंड इफ यू यू आर इन द न्यूज पेपर सो यू आर इन द मीडिया so you will know that uh, there hasn't been too many instances of uh, say insurgency related incidents of late occasional maar pit to ho hi jata hai kahin mein bhi kahin to so i think uh, all the assets that we have created wo acha chalega because uh, otherwise there are no other assets jaise aap example aap koi bhi city jaoge you will have other options hotels hai take for example dambu there are no hotels or anything na so if you have a good tourist lodge it will definitely run it will definitely run the yeah, so log log aate hain dheere dheere people want to explore the area yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. any new place any even old place actually arunachal is um, i would say still unexplored in many many places so that always uh, puts that itch in people to come and explore ये जो हमने पहले भी बोला वेन यू कम्पेयर द इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड द रेवेन्यू दैट इज कमिंग बैक इट्स नॉट रियली लुकिंग राइट 
definitely. But then that has, is true for any other government department. No, you, we, we, yeah, we, we invest in education, so much money. It's, I think, the second highest investment budget that uh, is spent on education. But what is the return? It's social service. So even in tourism, basically, it was always social service. Like we have assets which where we spend maybe five crores on constructing it, but since there are no people taking it on lease, ultimately we are giving it out at fifteen hundred a month. I mean, fifteen hundred a month, आपका घर का house rent उतना सस्ता में तो नहीं मिलता होगा. But since it's a government product, uh, there are these factors which uh, come into play, where we have to say instead of the asset going growing dilapidated every year and every year we we rather have someone taking care of it so that at least forget the revenue part at least my asset is at least maintained the log kehte the ki dambuk jo hai wo kala pani hai kyunki there was no road connectivity summer ke samay dambuk pe koi aa nahi sakta tha koi ja nahi sakta tha so road ban gayi connectivity hua to dambuk jo hai orange festival ke chalte aur iska naam jo hai bahar aaya और ऑरेंज जो है और यहाँ के ऑरेंजेस जो है अभी आउट ऑफ कंट्री भी जा रहे हैं हम आपने जो बोला कि दम्बुक काला पानी के नाम से जानता था हाँ दम्बुक काला पानी के जानम से जानता था हम ऐसा एक टाइम था जिसमें वेन इफ़ यू हैव टू गेट इन टू दम्बुक इट्स आइडर बाय चॉपर और बाय एलिफेंट बैग लेकिन आप देखो अभी डबल लेन ब्लैक टॉप स्मूथ हाईवेज आ गया डम्बुक में ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि ऑरेंज फेस्टिवल के कारण ये सब हो रहा है बट एक्चुअली नो वन इवन हर्ड ऑफ दम्बुक किसी ने दम्बुक के बारे में सुना ही नहीं था दम्बुक के ऑरेंजेस हो दम्बुक में ऑरेंजेस होते थे ये भी बहुत कम लोग इवन इन आवर ओन स्टेट जानते थे हम गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट्स दम्बुक पोस्टिंग होता है तो पनिशमेंट पोस्टिंग सोचते थे या सो Actually, the I, whole idea of uh, why we did the Orange Festival was that um, uh, we we just wanted means we just wanted uh, people to know the place. So, Orange Festival. Me, abhi hai. Ham to thoda Orange Festival ka ek, uh, last ek sawal kar lete hain ki uh, is event management me kitni uh, local uh, jo youths hai jo engaged hai. Local as in Arunachali locals, or you are talking about Dambuk locals? Dambuk locals and Arunachali. Uh, Um, except for the fields that uh, we don't have expertise in, like the uh, probably the sound engineer and all this, oh, and, and also um, the equipment like uh, the sound system, the light system, light lighting systems. Uh, except for these, we are employing 100% local Arunachalis. Uh, the event management is, uh, I could say, 100% uh, Arunachalis. And if you're talking about Dambuk locals, everything that they are capable of, starting from uh, supply of raw materials, building the stalls, building the gate. If you come see, you see the lovely gate that has come up. Yeah. That's uh, constructed by Aroti Panya. Yeah, Aroti Panya. She's a local. Uh, I said construction of stalls, housekeeping, sanitation. Even the caterers, like cater artist village caterer, the usual caterer which feeds the uh, volunteers and all, oh, and volunteers, hundred percent, all Dambuk locals. Because uh, the basic idea itself is that when you do a tourism festival or any festival like this, the locals should benefit. Locals definitely should benefit. Even for stalls, we have a separate quota for. Uh, Dambuk people, not and when I mean Dambuk, it doesn't mean Dambuk, Dambuk village. It actually means the whole, um, yeah, whole subdivision or the whole constituency as such. So, in Orange, I can safely vouch um, that 98% will be local. Just two percent where our we don't we still don't have that expertise. Uh, they are from outside. In 2015, we started the festival. In 2016, we first started exporting oranges out of Dambuk, and I can proudly say I brought the 
exporter from Kolkata, gave him a sam samples from a lot of gardens, took him all over the place, and then he he finally sent out the samples uh, all across. Then I think Dubai accepted one of the uh, retailers accepted his samples. So that's how it started. And then SpiceJet uh, provided all the logistics to fly it out and all. But today, even with very little effort, Dambu oranges are just flying off the shelf and flying everywhere. I can proudly say, um, since 2016, uh, Dambu oranges has been on the plate, on the plate of even our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It has been on our on the plate of our Prime Minister. Actually, these are these um, uh, specific skill sets. Hai. Uh, tourism, sabi, maybe we can include that in our training programs because uh, these are special skills which require. So hopefully, plus most important, actually, kyu ye log bhi unnu ko bhi lena padta hai because we don't have the um, equipment here locally. We don't have the equipment available here. So job ham equipment bahar se lena par raha hai to naturally if i have my equipment if i'm sending it to assam i'll probably send my boy i'll not leave it completely in the, their hands so that is the model that's actually right thank you so much thank you so uh humne abhi hamare director abu tang ji se suna ki kis tarah se government jo hai wo tourism sector mein invest kar rahe hain ye investment short term nahi hai it's a long term investment जिसका जो फ्रूट है फल है वो धीरे 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 स्टेट को स्टेट में आएगा और फुली आगे चलकर जिस तरह से कहते हैं कि आवर स्टेट इज़ अरुणाचल प्रदेश इज अनएक्सप्लोर्ड एरिया एंड देन इट्स अ वर्जिन लैंड और फुली की आगे जनरेशन जो है कई सालों बाद या कुछ सालों बाद यहाँ पे जो टूरिस्ट फ्लो है वो काफ़ी आए और हमारे यहाँ के जो लोग हैं वो उसका बेनिफिट जो है वो उठा सकें मैं रोशनी पर एक दस पीस से लोहार दिवांग वैली दाऊँ